Charlie, yo man, um, honestly, I do believe say track is the make man perfect. So that's the that's the the notion I live by. You know what I mean, um, well, as some of you may know, um, I go by the name of Joey B. I've been doing music for about eight, seven, eight, nine years now. Um, yeah, Charlie, it's been it's been a very very wonderful journey. Still there, we still do um, and stuff. Um. Wow, it's been it's been like a roller coaster, man. Like honestly, it's been very almost smooth, but very um, tough, you know. And my father always told me that, you know, it it, it, it really is how it's how you really finesse things. It's how it's how you play things, making things look um, as easy as it may seem is, is one of the, like most powerful tools. And um, one should like you know um, master, you know. So I always try and make it look very easy, even the way like I, I rap, like my style of rap, like it sounds very mellow. Like oh, somebody said we talk to this guy, you know the thing said before he rap him, or he's like he won't sleep or like you know what I mean. But it's actually the hardest thing, you know, to to, to make um, um, something sound really very uh, really really easy. You know what I mean? So Charlie, you know easy like in terms of. Uh, videos um, making music um study the sound everything everything is very very crazy so the journey is very tough so it's not easy um as a hip-hop artist you know it's you know let's just even sideline the fact that you know a general wise or anything concerning like you know whether it's hip-hop or r&b or once it's music it's music and me i'll be very very stubborn when it comes to music no matter what it, it is no matter what it is like it always has to sound you won't cringe your tv okay. let's make it again in regards to um, master, uh, mixing and mastering, you know, in terms of music um, as a whole, I take it very, very, uh, very, very serious and very personal because if you did party or you did concert, like what the what the fans or what the people um, will hear is something that it's very, very important because if for if for play correct, make you feel them. It's not just oh, it's just one. You know, one in a, one in a very few songs that aren't really mastered. Even sometimes songs are like leaked and they don't sound properly, but they end up going back into the studio to like work on it for it to sound very like you know, very uh, uh, clear or more clear enough so people can you know actually enjoy the bass. And also DJs don't like you know songs with like low quality. You know, what I mean, if it's in the bumwa, like did they play them well because everybody wants to like show off their speakers. You know what I'm saying? So, Charlie, me, Max, mastering, mixing, I need to take three. Like, if uh, an artist wants to feature me and, um, you know, I give you my vocals and then you go and, like, you know, do it your way and it doesn't sound like the way I want it, I end up not even liking the song at all. Like, I don't I don't even want to listen to it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? So, I always, you know, tell my engineers, um, that this is this is my preset. This is how I like it. You know, so once you once you get my vocals the way it did, don't touch it. Just leave it like that. Why? Because I'm very concerned with like you know sound. In regards to mastering, I think I'll talk more about like the kicks and stuff like that. Because if you don't really you know treat the kicks properly, the the, the, the song or the sound you go blast. One thing I hate in my life is like songs with really the blast. Like if you open, I won't make if I open inside that. Like it still sounds very, you know, very correct, like very proper. I know some sounds the kick the, the the person or the engineer won't concentrate more or focus more on, you know, the kick, make it play, bing bing. Then you end up making it sound very like you know blasty. I I think Charlie forward me. I'm I'm really all about forward. You know, um, I'm I'm here for change. I'm here for growth. I'm here for everything that's, you know, it go it go evolve me or the next man or every creative. 
but yes, yes. So I honestly feel like this whole digital thing is like very, 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 very lucrative for all of us. Because, for example, like we're in this pandemic, you know, this lockdown and everything going on. Like artists aren't even playing shows. You understand? There's, there's no. I haven't seen any artists. Any artists that's playing shows is just virtual. And the virtual, unless you are working with some companies that you know paying you or something like that, um, that's a different conversation altogether. But basically, performing every time, you know, like how it used to be, like with the fans and everything, that one be more, uh, you know, correct pass. But now we are not getting it that way, and we literally have to um, enjoy the sales from you know um, um, the songs we put on digital platforms so I think they really really they help honestly when your sound is bad actually people or people who actually enjoy music like myself I'll never play it but there's some fans who actually follow it like for example let's say Sakuri Sakuri people they feel them so much so even if you drop some song, song with the quality no beauty they are in Sakuri they go listen them whether they like it or not they don't care if like you know they're not as you know sound political as I am do you understand? So it goes like I said, negative and positive. But with me, me, there's if the quality be bad, me, 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 me. I have to enjoy everything, like I said. That's so why I, I made a uh, uh, reference to um, uh, with Fufu. You know, uh, it has to sound very, very correct for me. You know, but for the fans, some, some fans don't care. Just really follow the art. But me, I make sure that it has to sound correct as it should be. You know. Okay, back then, let me show you what, what plan I had. I, I actually wanted to... Um, I have family in the UK. I wanted to move to the UK and just uh, learn or mixing and mastering. Um, but I realized, you're gonna hear, you know, if you be artist way, you move to a different country and you're staying there, your music will not be popping like how you did here. You understand? So I had to find a balance that, I, okay, if I'm not going to stay in London, I have to find a way to uh, learn how to... Uh, mix master or whatever it is and apparently i'm right now i'm on stage one um i thank god for having you know very wonderful people in my life um for example Posiji. Posiji came here um i had gotten um this macbook uh, very new i told him that yo this is this is what and he's been always using um he uses them um, cubase every he, he, basically everything but i see him work on or work with uh, Logic very, very often. Um, I told him that I wanted to learn um, how to use Logic, basically. I didn't even tell him that I wanted to make master, nothing. He just came, set it up for me, and that was it. I just went to YouTube, and then I call him, he shows me, okay, do this, do that, do that, do that. And that was it, you know? I've always wanted to do this for like time, because I feel like sometimes when I deal with me and engineer the work, I feel like I'm worrying him. No, 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 this place, I don't like it this way, it sounds, it sounds, I know, you know, and in any part, I just feel like, oh, me, how? So, if me myself now, I don't have to be coming to worry you and make phone calls and put the G, say, put the G, help me, help me, no, 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 you know, I just want those days over. And I want to be, I want to be better than put G, honestly, I want to be better than, um, um, uh, you know, like Q beats, like all these mas the mastering engineers, like all of these uh, uh, gurus in the game. So me, you know, I've put myself up there. Look, I have to be better than all of these people. In the bab. So Charlie, people for watch out. Yeah. Posi G, I met Posi G um, in the studio in Tema. At that time, I I really was nobody. Honestly, I I barely even had any song out. Or oh, I had strawberry ginger out at that time. I don't know. I'm not too sure, but that's how um, that's how it came about. So I went to Tema, and um, because at that time I was working with coaches, so coaches was you know showing me like the industry and like all these people. At that time it was Yasiki, and still out to be like Charlie, all of all of these. Um, stage Charlie, D crime, them all, you know. So I just went there to just create relationships, and I ended up being in Portuguese. Um, studio um, over there also oh yeah I just remembered actually I had to do um, you know, Mugis had to do a verse on my song so he, he also told me to uh, meet him in um, Tema at Posiji studio and when I went there yo Posiji studio like it's just very simple it's not like the normal the studios that you see with plenty plenty things sometimes the plenty things no need it's just really the knowledge you understand 
just had a few things here mixer board or whatever it's called yeah the speaker the same things he, he also had like krks and some small ones and if you, if you look at my setup honestly i learned it from him because i feel like these ones take care of um the vocals and this is like more of like the bass or whatever it is so all of these things was from him i was just watching um him do all of these things and, and Mugi was also doing his best and like you know the guy is just because Jesus is just something else so I've always I've always wanted to be like him and he's mastered a bunch of songs that's what fans don't know a, a whole bunch from um Sako Dier to how to be to keep promises new songs to like yo a, a few so DG oh Charlie forget that why they tell people see me there me my benchmark <laughs> for CG I have to be better than for CG 100% so you guys will watch out. Um, challenges of being an artist. Um, I don't know if I should say in Ghana or just um, um, being an artist in uh, or as a whole. Um, production in Ghana is very, very, very tough. Not production as in like big production, like in terms of um, you know music as a whole, video shoots. Sometimes the concept that I have in my head is like way beyond what we have in Ghana. So we know for like you know try and make use of what we have here that's one of the challenges that i face as an artist here in Ghana. you know and i'm sure a lot of creatives will also um, understand where i'm coming from i'm sure even beat some big producers even like there are some softwares or plugins actually Ghana here and you go hard that's why you have cracks and all of these things here you understand being a creative and kata 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 it'd be, it'd be tough you know so me the advice i give um you know upcoming artists that actually look the finesse, you know, you finesse me. If you don't over a cry, a cry over you. Every time be and if you make sure see, you know or you have to find out however you have to make things work. And that's how me I live by. And you can you will make a cry, you can get to the next level. And that's just how I do my things. You know I mean? so, yeah, Charlie, the challenge is the idea of you here. But being a creative or artist is is crazy. You know, and once you once you you better it, you just you just become very strong. You know, so that'd be how you do it. Well, like I've always said, and I've learned, is practice makes man perfect. You know, you keep learning, you keep practicing, and that's the only way. You know, um, you become a better version of yourself. You know, and I'd like to say a big thank you to uh, Pastor G. Mix master class is something that I feel like every artist should you know watch also because you know every time we oh um you have a verse to do for someone then you have to rush and go to studio like some studio somewhere like you can literally have your own you know um laptop MacBook whatever it is you install and um, whether Logic or Cubase or whatever it is is one very humble like like i said he's worked with so many people like before me so many people but very 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 legend but still you know he has time and like even when i called first gu first i need uh, logic on my he drove all the way from his place from temau he came to east Lagos, you know just to do it because he's been supporting people he supports acts every time like i said back in the day when i used to go to temau i'll see all like every we even whiskey at that time for CG studio you know and nobody even cared we didn't care whether the studio idea who and out whether he did carpet and out like we literally have to you have to go there because that's where the time is coming from i demand do all of those things all of those things so that's where they all happen like they're mixing the masters for CG, you know so i urge every artist go to youtube go to his pages uh twitter uh, facebook uh, instagram look for Pussy G. Go and learn some one or two because I don't want you to be like me first. If I take my vocals now, I come call, call somebody. Oh, please come and master. Come now, now, now. Do this are over. Me now, good day here. Mix my vocals. Send it to Posiji if you master it for me. You don't have to by force master your own things. Even in the states or somewhere abroad, I don't know. All these engineers, they have mixing engineer, they have mastering engineer. But say Yamiya or Aduna say you have the knowledge to, you know. Um, know how to handle the mixing and mashing all together then good for you but maybe i need to think i cry stage one to stage two to do who do you do stage 10. so my little advice i'll give you guys is just go seek acquire knowledge just go that's all